How's it going everybody? Today we're going to be looking at shaders using the GLSL programming language. There's a few different options for what we can do. We're going to be setting it up a window with SDL2 and OpenGL that can load in the code as well. And we're going to cover using Shader Toy and this Twiggle app. So we're going to cover a few things and we're just going to do some basics for shaders. If you guys aren't familiar with shaders, shaders are code that is ran on the GPU. So let's imagine your CPU is like a if you want to write a book, you're writing it. Just, you know, like with a typewriter. Uh, a GPU is equivalent of a printer press to a typewriter. Um, the typewriter is one character at a time. Printer press does everything at once. So, whenever you want to render something on the screen or do calculations for the screen, it will do every single pixel all at the exact same time. So, that's just what shaders do, basically. It's code that can be ran on the GPU and it runs everything all simultaneously. So we're going to jump in and I'll make a new directory. Directory shaders and let's go into here. So if you want to set it up with SDL2 and OpenGL, you can follow this and we'll also cover stuff using, as I mentioned, the shader toy as well. Also, if you guys are more interested in learning about shader toy, they have documentation and whatnot on the website. And I also follow this guy on Twitter and he uh, shares some example things that he works on that look pretty nice. So we're going to be covering just on the basic stuff, but as this will probably end up being a series, we'll, we'll cover more and more in depth on how to use shaders and how shaders work. So we want to create two different files. Um, the first one will be main.c, and the second one will be uh, we'll called shader.h. So in our main, that's just going to be creating our window and loading in some stuff from shader. And the shader is going to actually include some of the shader stuff for setting it up. In this one, all of the shader, the GLSL code is going to be inline in the shader file. But in a future video, we'll have separate files for different types of shaders, uh, fragment, vector, and whatnot. And a little bit more in depth on how to do all that stuff. In our main file, we'll just set up some of it. We'll do include, and then it's going to include our SDL2. So it's going to be SDL2, SDL.h, and then we'll include our GL. So GL, GL.h. And depending on how you have this set up, maybe this might be in a slightly different directory. And then we'll include our shader.h. And we're going to make our window size be 1600, and then the height will be 900. So now that we've got that defined, we're going to be using that for the window. Um, we're also going to define some functions that are, because uh, if we don't define them here, it's going to give them, it's going to throw an error, but it's going to be gl get uniform, uniform location. That's going to take in a program and a character name. GL uniform one int location float v0. And then we'll have that copy one more time and float v1. Um, so the code, this is in C, but the code is going to be GLS, GLSL. So we're going to want to pass things back and forth between our C program and the shader code. And we can do that using some uniform functions. Now we're just going to make our main function. Uh, we'll just do it like this. And take in the arguments. And here we can return zero it's at the end. So we're going to set up our SDL window um, and then all the display stuff for that. So we're just going to initialize it. And we can do init video. Close it off, and then SDL window screen equals SDL create window. You can just call it shaders. This is just going to be a title. And then SDL window position. Now we just want to center it, um, so it just opens up at the center of the screen, basically. And then the width and the height and we'll pass in some flags um, if you can't tell it's a 
That's what it looks like right there. SDO. No, SDL, window, open geo. So we're passing a flag to say it's an open geo window. And then we can also do SDL, render. We'll just call it rend. That's a pointer, not a reference. Rend, then SDL, create, render. Pass in the screen, and then that'll be negative one. So SDL render accelerated. And these are the flags as well. Render, and then present v sync. <coughs> so that's just the flags that we're needing to create our screen and our render. And now we can just set that. So set render render draw color um, pass the render zero 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 two five five and then we'll do gl viewport zero zero width and height so now we're going to set up some stuff from our actual shader and then we can define some things but i guess we can just make a quick loop and a, an event. Um, let's just have it run just like that. And here we can do SDL destroy render rend and SDL destroy window oh, screen and SDL quit. And to pull the event. And if e type equals SDL quit, then it will just break. So if you click on the X of the window, it'll close. And then we can set up a time. And this time is going to be one of the uniforms that we're going to be sending in to our uh, to our shader, basically. So we'll do SDL get ticks, and let's divide that by a float of 500. And GL uniform time location T and GL rect negative one, negative one, one, and one. And do SDL GL swap window screen. So that should be everything we need for rendering it. And we're also setting up sending the time into our shader, which now we can define everything in here. Um, we're also going to want to define some functions. Uh, just make sure it doesn't throw anything. So we can just define these functions. GL create shader int type and then void GL shader source int shader int count character string and length. So like that compile shader and shader this one's at attached to shader program then int shader so I guess I'll kind of explain it once we get more into it but basically you're going to have a program and the program is going to take in the shader file and then that's just what runs it so we're just going to be able to create a program and then create a shader with that program and then just telling it to compile and run it basically. So you can attach it and then compile it. And we also do GL create program. Um, that'll be void. And then void. That's going to be int. It's going to return your program's ID. And this will be GL link program. And I'll take in program ID. This will be GL use program. And it takes an ID as well. So in here, like I mentioned, for this video, we're just going to um, have it inline. We're not going to load it in from any file or anything. 
Um, so we'll just have it like this, and we'll actually get to the code once we have this set up. Now that we've got that, we can just go make a function called void shader, then that'll character resource, then int type, and then int program. This will be int shader equals gl create shader type, and then gl shader source, the shader, one source and zero, and gl compile shader, pass in the shader to compile it, and gl attach shader. So now we're just attaching it to the program. And it should be basically just that. And then here we'll actually define our shader. And then in here, so right here we can actually set up some of the stuff for our shader. So we'll do np equals gl create program. And shader and shader fragment. gl fragment shader and then the program and then gl link program p gl use program p just like that and then you can do int time location equals gl get uniform location and this is something we'll set up in our shader still so this right here time is going to be a variable in the program We'll have another variable um, for the resolution, so we can call it resolution equals gl get uniform location p resolution. And we'll do gl uniform 2f resolution w. Oh, wait, oh, cancel. So we're basically, we're gonna be setting the resolution to the width and the height, just like that. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty simple. And now in our shader class, we're just gonna go into shader toy. We'll just pull that up so I can show it to you. And if you look at shader toy, there's automatically a shader that's already running. So let's look at some of this code. So this is a GLSL code. It's pretty similar to the C, um, C++, it's the same style of formatting and whatnot. So you have our function called main, and in here it's going to take in the fragment color and the fragment coordinate. So that's just, you know, every color and coordinate, and I believe it starts from 0, 0, and then goes up to this way. So then you have a UV. Um, UV is just uh, figuring out the coordinate to the resolution size, because you can have more coordinates than your resolution, so it kind of makes it so you can fit it correctly um, and then you have your color it's a vec3 and this is basically just doing some calculation based on the time to do this right here and then we're setting our color and then a color it's a vec4 so also wants the alpha channel which we just set to one so we're going to take this and copy it and paste that right into here um, let's lower this back right here and then we don't need this Let's call this main. Um, I'll, I'll get rid of these. Okay. And um oh, okay. Let's just have it like that. Because we're gonna want to put quotes around everything. Because they're characters. Okay, so that's gonna be frag chord. Um, except this is going to be called GL frag chord. And this, as we have it defined in the other one, it's just called resolution. This one will be called GL frag chord as well. And that is called time. This will be slightly different. I think we need the XY right there for the math to work on this version. Okay. And now to compile it, it is going to be, we're just using GCC. It's going to be main. And our output can be main as well. And then we're going to make sure to include the STL2 and GL. Let's do wall as well. 
Now let's compile that. Void main. Okay. So that no oh, remains right here. Int main. What's this looking at? Oh, that needs a quote. So we need to add a semicolon right there. And then this one right here is going to be 1f. This is rect i. And then up here, let's put f's in those. And then that's 1f right there. And then that's event like that. And let's run that to make sure everything works. And then viewport. That's a lower case P. Now oh, in here also we need to define our uniform variables. Uniform float. Uniform float time and uniform vec2 resolution. Just like that. And we also need to make sure these include semicolons at the end. And now running in here, let's go into main. And here we have it. We have the same thing from our shader toy right here. We have the code running. So it's all running on shaders, it's running on the GPU. Everything's happening, every single pixel is running exactly how it works. As you can see, there's no for loop or anything, it's not looping through your X and Y coordinates. It all happens all at the same time. So this function is going to be called for every single pixel, basically. So yeah, as you can tell in the shader toy, this is going to be GL, and that's just resolution as I and I time as well. So it's a little bit different, but uh, it's basically the same thing. And looking at the Twiggle app, if we were to go in here, it's all the exact same thing as the actual GL code right here, except for we want to include this precision HP float. Um, and also, whenever you do anything like this, these floats right here and these floats, we'll cover this a little bit more in the future, but make sure it's always a float decrease. Here we have integers, but if it needs to be a float, it needs to be a float, and if you don't do that, then it's probably going to break. So I guess that one worked right here, but like in here, if you were to change some of it in the actual C code, or it's not going to work always. So make sure that you have it just like this. In a future video, we're going to cover some error checking stuff, checking ways to actually load in the shader from a different file, how to pre-compile stuff so you can load in the compiled shader, and um, things like that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and see you guys again next time. Bye.